Hi everyone, today I'm going to be creating these Dollar Tree Shabby Chic Bathroom Decor coming up. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be creating these beautiful shabby chic decor. So please stick around. Before we get started, I'm just going to ask that if you can please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also hit that bell icon, you know, right there in the corner so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. For the first DIY, I'll be using four of these frames and these are two by three inches. Now these are new at my Dollar Tree and I think they're absolutely adorable with this tin background. I'll also be using some floral wire, some pearl wrap ribbon from Dollar Tree, some burlap ribbon also from Dollar Tree, and some lace ribbon. And also some peel and stick poster sticker letters and these faux pearls from Dollar Tree and these do have the little opening that go right through them. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is remove the stand from the back of these frames and all you have to do is just give it a tug and they come right off. The next thing that I'm going to do is remove the little clip holder and I'll be using my screwdriver for that and I'll be doing that to the rest of the picture frames. Next, what I'm going to do is glue them all together this way. But first, I have to glue two at a time and then the two sections together. Next, I'm going to turn it over to the back side and then I'm going to add some popsicle sticks to reinforce it. Next, I'm going to use some of those peel and stick letters and I'm going to spell out the word wash. So I'll be putting one letter in each frame. Next, I'll be cutting a piece of floral wire. The next thing that I'm going to do is bend one end of the floral wire. I'm going to be placing the pearls through the wire so I need them to stay in place. And now I'm going to bend the other end and that way it'll keep the pearls in place and they won't fall out. And now that I have my pearl handle, I'm going to be hot gluing it to the back side of my picture frame. And for added reinforcement, I added a piece of duct tape and I'll be doing the same thing to the other side. Next, I made a simple bow with just two loops and then I also hot glued it in the center of the frame. And for added decor, I added some of those pearls to the bow as well. And right here I'm pointing out there's a little hole where the little screws were at. It was holding on at the little clamp. So what I'm going to do is just add some pearls there just to cover it up. For the next DIY, I'll be using the same four frames as I did with the first DIY. 
I'll also be using this cabinet liner from Dollar Tree and also this other one that looks like a mesh. I'll be making a tissue holder with these frames and since the tissue is going to be pulled out, I don't want the backing to get tangled up with the tissue or get wrapped up somehow. So what I'm doing right here is just adding some hot glue all around the edge where the frame and the backboard meet. I'll be doing that to the rest of the frames as well. Okay, so now I'm going to start assembling my tissue holder. And what I've done is I lay down one frame facing down. Then I'll be hot gluing one frame at a time and I'll be placing them in the inside frame on the one that's laying face down. And then I'll just keep repeating until I have assembled a square box. Next, I'm gonna be cutting a piece of this mesh liner. And I have to admit, I cut a lot more than what I actually needed. This mesh is going to be used to hold the tissue down. So what I'll be doing is hot gluing this mesh in the inside top portion of the box. And I'll be going all around with this mesh until I'm done. Okay, so this is how the mesh looks now and I'm going to turn my box upside down and I'm just going to cut all that extra mesh. I cut off as much as I could and this is what it looks like now. Next, I'm going to cut the opening for the tissue and all I'm going to do is just cut two slits and I'm going to go vertically and horizontal. Now for this other liner, it's going to be used as the base for this box. So what I'm going to do is just put my box over this liner and then I'm going to outline the edge of the box. And now I'm going to cut out my pattern. Okay, so now I'm going to lay my base over the bottom of my box. And what I'm going to do is just leave an opening as I'm opening it right there. I'm just going to hot glue all the way up into where I want it to be open. And the opening is so that I can put my tissue through there. These frames are too small for the standard tissue box. I'm talking about the square cubic ones. They're too big, so what I had to do is just make that opening on the bottom and that way I could just take out the whole tissue from the box and then just place it inside my new tissue box, if that makes sense. And then for added decor, I added a two-loop bow like I did to the first DIY. And here I just want to show you that I've already inserted the tissue and now my tissue box is ready. For the next DIY, I'll be using these two wooden trays from Dollar Tree. These are from the Crafters Collection. Some wood letters. Also some spray paint from Rust-Oleum and this is in the satin finish in white. And also some Rust-Oleum hammered silver spray paint. I'll be using several colors of acrylic paint because I'm going to try to mix a particular color that I'm looking for. I'll go ahead and list the names down below in the description box. I'll also be using a Dollar Tree candle holder and the reason that it's white, it's because I've used it before. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two trays outside and I'm going to spray paint them with the white spray paint. And for the candle stand, I'm going to be spray painting it with the silver spray paint. Since I've been using this color of ribbon that's a little bit like a light green and teal color, I'm going to try to mix these two acrylic paints to see if I can come up with that color since that's the color theme that I've been using. So I also went ahead and I added some white to those two green color of paints and now I'm just going to mix them up and see if I can come close to the color I'm looking for. 
I know that I could have gone to the store and probably found that color I was looking for, but since I had so many paints, I figured that I could just mix them up and try to come close to the color I was wanting. So now that I have my paint, I was ready to start painting the letters that spell out soap. I'm gonna be using this little caddy to add soap and just little things of that nature and I just thought that it would go really nice with the rest of the bathroom decor that I was creating. Okay, so my little trays are already dried and now I'm ready to start creating a two-tier tray. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is add some hot glue to the bottom of the candle stand and then I'm gonna place it in the center of the first tray. The next thing that I'm going to do is hot glue the letters to the top tray that's going to spell out the word soap. And now I'm ready to add the top tray, but first I'm going to add some more hot glue to the top of the candle stand and then place the top tray. For the last DIY, I'll be using this love sign from Dollar Tree and the silver hammered Rust-Oleum spray paint. And from the Dollar Tree spring collection, I'll be using two of these welcome signs with this flower and some more of these wood letters. So the first thing that I did is remove the welcome sign off the flower and I just used my needle nose pliers to remove it. The next thing that I did is started bending the leaves on the flower. I didn't want it to look flat as it looked, so that's what I did to both of the flowers. Next, I took it outside and spray painted it with the Hammer Silver Spray Paint. For the love sign, I removed the ribbon and also the metal heart that it had. Next, I used my sanding block to sand it off a little bit just to remove some of that roughness where the heart was. Next, I started to paint it with the same color that I had mixed, that light green teal. The board has these vertical lines, so what I did is I added some gray paint to them to define them. I wanted to give this board a old weathered look, so I started to brush on some gray and white paint. And then after looking at it, I decided to go ahead and add some brown paint as well. And to soften the colors and blend them together and make them look more natural, I used my sanding block to sand the paint. For this sign, I'm going to spell the word bath. And I had already painted the letters in the same blue color, but I noticed that they didn't stand out. So I went ahead and I paint them with the brown color. Okay, so now that my board was ready and also my two tin flowers, I was ready to start assembling my bath sign. So I started to add the letters where I wanted them to be, and then I moved on to the tin flowers. And once I had arranged everything, I started to hot glue everything down. And then I added some faux pearls. And then to give it an extra added touch, I went ahead and I looped the lace and pearl ribbon and hot glued it there on the side. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day. And remember, love, laugh, and create. Until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.